All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. Wow, the screen looks really bright. Hopefully, it doesn't come off as bright on when you guys watch this. Anyway, uh, hopefully, everyone had a nice little week. Um, I don't even remember what the hell happened between last week and this week and today. So I don't know. I just had a lot of crap to do. Been trying to relax and unwind. You know, uh, I plugged in. To, to, I, pl I, I put down another $675 to file some trademarks and I just simply hate the entire concept of trademarks <clears throat> and then I have to do it otherwise <clears throat> I do all the work and then someone else files a trademark and then uses that against me to shut down my game and really my entire all my ideas so it, it and I read I was reading like some lawyer's website about uh, a trademark lawyer's website. He said it does not give you the right to own a word, but that's essentially what a trademark is. It's like I just hate I just hate the concept of law so much now because it's all about like lying and shit. But you know, and there doesn't at least the lawyers I've been talking to don't seem to have enough creativity for my tastes, which is important because you need creativity to frame your you know point of view and argument and stuff. But you know whatever that's just how it goes. So. And then also, I'm wearing a, you can't really see it, but it's a Monopoly Guy t-shirt. Every day I wake up, wait, I don't want to lift too much, but basically it's the Monopoly Guy with money signs. Well, I actually looked at the tag at the back. It turns out it's actually made by Hasbro. So, you know, there is promise with this stuff. Like, once you have a pretty good brand, then you just start selling t-shirts, mugs. That's actually where you get all your money from. <clears throat> That's why movies are made to be lost leaders, quote-unquote. Because they make all their money back through streaming, online, and merchandising. That's where you get all your money from. That's how George Lucas made all his billions, essentially, before he sold it to uh, Disney. <clears throat> and in order to do that, you have to trademark everything. It's just so... Uh, I mean, technically, it's a blessing in disguise that I got trademark struck, but those pieces of shit stole my idea before and then trademarked it. Not even copyright, but trademarked it before I could use it. So that's why I get screwed over. But this isn't the end of it, so I will have I will get my Aeon title back in one way or another. But in the meantime, you know, we'll have to go with the new name I came up with, which of course I'm not saying yet until the game's actually released, which is going to be earliest November 16th. But you know, I haven't done the final steps, which is upload the build, which should be easy, and then uh, upload the trailer and screenshots. Uh, I'm actually waiting until after tomorrow at least. Because tomorrow I'm taking my John Truby uh, master course. So he actually has a new uh, course that's not taught anywhere in the world. So I actually want to take it. So, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if, again, if you don't know who John Truby is, you will go master screenwriter. Uh, there's a couple different points of view. So it's between him and I think their guy's Christopher Volger or something like that. Christopher Writer Volger. I mean, it's Vulgar, because Vulgar is the other one. Vogler. He was born in 1949, and he is a devel Hollywood development executive. So, yeah, this guy also knows this stuff, too. The Writer's Journey, Mythic. Let's see, what did he write? It's a popular screenwriting textbook by writer Christopher Vol Vogler. Uh, yeah, most stories can be boiled down in a series of narrative structure and character archetypes described through mythological allegory. Vulgar. V I keep saying vulgar, but it's Vogler, based his work upon the writings of Joseph and Campbell. Because <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. okay. John Truby, his thing, he, his, <clears throat> his students go on to make about, I think he said 25 to $50 billion with a B at the box office. This was obviously pre-fucking coronavirus. While well, working for Disney. Yeah, so this is the other guy, too. So it's Vogler and John Truby, so these two. So actually, maybe I do want to take a look at what Vogler has to say, too. But, I mean, I'm already overloaded on uh, Christopher Vogler, yeah. But I could, like, because I thought, because I, I could have sworn that Vogler was different from Truby, like they were opposites or something. But just reading that blurb from Fakepedia, they both seem to be the same, because John Truby teaches the same thing. But you know you have to tell you have to t tell your story through structure as much as possible. Uh, I mean, without getting into details, like having structure is like you could of having like buildings and systems do the heavy lifting for you. You know, if you do the heavy lifting, 
uh, then your st story gets screwed up. And that's what happened on my first movie, which I don't hold it against it at all because I didn't know enough at the time. I, I just came back to Christianity and doing my own thing. So, you know, it's just part of the process. All right. So anyway, uh, let's see. So I didn't do any research at all. Uh, I've actually been trying to get away from social media. So uh, let's just see what happens. So last week is at 13, so that's good. Uh, Bitcoin, as you already know, has been skyrocketing. So it looks like today it's back at 13,400. So this is really good. We're, so we're making dollar signs. Uh, Litecoin's also improved a lot. Obviously not as much as it should be, but... Usually, if Bitcoin goes up, everything else goes down. So I like using Litecoin as a good indicator of that. And as you can see here, everything's pretty much in the red. We have some greens here and there too. So Litecoin's at basically a little under fifty-eight bucks. Doggy Coin, yeah, Dog Coin's been getting hammered like crazy. Where's Dog Coin? Wow, it's dropped down to forty-ninth position. Its market cap's up to three forty, but the chart doesn't seem right. Huh. I don't know. I'm just glad I don't use dog coin. Some people want to use it, but to me, it's already too much risk. You know, Litecoin's better because the supply is already much more fixed and limited. Stocks renew, declines. I need to refresh this because yesterday, like, markets crashed or whatever. <clears throat> renew, declines. Like your Dow's worst drop in here in two months. Yeah, I mean, the problem is the markets keep skyrocketing when they really have no reason to. Right? So... Or increased solidly in September, so that's good. Chris Paul dream job after NBA, don't care. U.S. home price growth reaches 2018 levels. See, it doesn't feel like a full recovery at all. Like, every, like I still wearing stupid masks. You know, shit's still shut down. I do see more people out and about, and a lot of them are not wearing a mask. But, I mean, unless Republicans just sweep everything so they can remove the damn lockdown finally. <clears throat> and it's like, eh, I don't know, man. You got a lot of unemployed people. But on the other hand, automation, AI, <clears throat> and overall technology growth is replacing human beings anyway. This lockdown stuff is just going to accelerate that. So Revel doing whatever it normally does. Regions Financial is already at $13.30. I actually bought lots. Of, I actually bought a low five figures amount of Regions Financial when I was at like seven or eight dollars or six. So I already doubled my money on Regions Financial. So I'm already getting my money back. But I'm definitely in the future, the only time I'm ever going to buy stocks is like during uh, a panic or a crash or a correction. So that way I, I'm guaranteed to get the best price possible. Because I could have made a million dollars off of this, a stock market crash. Because I, I put in like $55,000 into MRL and then that... Thing went bankrupt, right? So I wound up taking like a thirty thousand dollar loss, thirty three thousand dollar loss. I'm, I did the video on that a while ago. So, but in that, but I lost two years of time. Granted, I don't have to do anything because you just buy stock, right? But I hit the record button. Right? Oh my god, yeah, that would have been ridiculous. So you know, if I had instead taken that fifty five thousand dollars and then bought at the bottom, I already would already have one hundred ten grand to. 250 grand at least right now at this point in time and i would still have lots of shares of rebel which is already basically tripled or quadrupled in price because i bought this at like a dollar 50 each i wasn't comfortable buying at 75 cents because like ah because you don't know if it's going to bankrupt so it's like yeah i'm gonna gamble a little right so you know what's money management so but you know when rebel goes back to 27 bucks you know just millions of dollars and then i'm definitely I would actually seriously consider selling all of that. Take the definitely I have to take the I mean it's only gonna be a fifteen or twenty well Trump's gonna win re-election most likely. So I think it's what is the current US long term capital gains tax rate? Is it fifteen or twenty percent? Uh on my income. Um 20%. So where would I, so I think if I, I think I would have to pay 20% because in one year when I sell my crypto, I'm going to probably be considered, uh, yeah, it's like four, four, I thought it was 446k, but yeah, it's four, 441,000. 
So if I sell all of, yeah, it's only an extra 5%, so it's really not that big of a deal. So I'd rather just take the 5% penalty then. You know, if I have to, if I wind up selling all my rebels at, uh, where are we? Um, at the year I sell all my Litecoin and all my crypto, right? Because then I'll obviously be doing videos of, and continue to do videos like, okay, I think the Bitcoin thing has run its course. I'm going to get out early and then let all the other retard suckers just, you know, gamble and then lose all their money and then crash, right? So, um, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's an extra 5%, so whatever. I don't know. What was I rambling about? I mean, honestly, to be honest, I really don't care about reading these news articles because unless I see things like lockdown is ending, elections over, that's like not going to be for a while, right? And the next, and then next two, I, mean, I was going to wait till the end, but next Tuesday is election day, and that's normally I do my video. So I'm probably going to next week do a video on Monday. That's going to be the video for the week because I want Tuesday free to, so I can follow the election. I'll probably be pulling a late night or two because I assume Nick Fuentes is going to cover uh, election night coverage. Uh, and then, yeah, you'll notice I didn't really care about the Amy Scotus nominee thing, so whatever. Because um, right now all the polls and market things are being rigged anyway. JFT coins at four to five, so it's holding pretty steady, so that's very good. 404 is also steady, 65 to 69 Satoshis of Bitcoin. Two by two is getting hammered with the price increase in major crypto, which is not to be, which is not surprising. It's three to four, it'll eventually just crash below one. Um, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. With, uh, but for the time, I don't think Mitch is going to do anything. Uh, Rix is holding okay. It's at seven to eight because on the strength of the Rick and Morty uh, thing alone. So it looks like Fo uh, Fox doesn't really, or whoever owns the IP for Rick and Morty, doesn't seem to care that much for now. So that's actually pretty decent. Uh, eventually, this will eventually have to cave too, but maybe it'll stay at least at one to two. One hundred coin has been very stable and rock solid. It's been improving, so it's at like forty three. This thing is as high as forty eight. This was last night, but it's at thirty seven to forty point nine satoshis of a bitcoin. So it's a uh, so one hundred coins definitely a resounding success. So that's good because I needed to obviously uh, uh, fix my uh, what you call fix my income. You know, I've been trying to do that for years since the crash, so I think we're finally going to get something. That's a pretty nice icon, by the way, LKR coin. So Speedcoin's going to end in three hours, three days and nine hours. 100 coins going to end next week. Because I, I made it so that I think, uh, yeah, it's going to end during or after the election. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with 100 coin. Uh, yeah, so that's solid. Speedcoin... Uh, it's going to, I mean, it went as high as 140 something, but, you know, because the supply is so limited and uh, we don't get the benefit of, you know, other bigger coins with also the same symbol. So we don't get the parasite leech off of their marketing efforts. You know, we're on our own with this one. So it's kind of a somewhat disappointed, but on the other hand, it's not a failure either. It's just not doing as well as it should be. So it'll, it'll just be a while, right? But nonetheless, it's at 68 to 69. And then, you know, we'll keep running these contests. So as more people get exposed to Speedcoin, it should eventually go back up. And then it should help. And they'll finally be able to contribute some real money. Oh, I don't really care about that. Oh, I've also been uh, getting 100 coin and Speedcoin listed everywhere. So, and they're both on CoinGecko now. So I go CoinGecko. But yeah, let's take a look, actually. Uh, oh. God, it doesn't even show up in the search results here. Oh, God. Okay, get, get out of my face. All right, so it's on CoinGecko here. Pretty good. Very nice. Um, oh. I mean, the only advantage to speed is at least when you see it, you know, you'll be able to find it in the search box. Why is it not going? Four hours ago, seven people like this. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, it need it needs more. It just needs just needs more time. So here's speed coin. Oh, actually, I just realized. Is there a ranking for 100 coin? I don't know. It still has question marks on it. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. We can worry about that later. <clears throat> All right. 
So thank you to the one person that subscribed. So I'm definitely, I definitely wish I should have just put all on these infos, my YouTube channels here. So yeah, see, there's not any, see, there's like free real estate, just unknown here. I mean, I guess I could add it to the JFC and 404 coin things. And then hmm, I don't know, but I technically have to like, just put this in the back burner too, because you know, it's a joint venture between me, me and Mitch, and then we're not working together anymore. So, because you know, I'm getting tired of just feeding him money for this shit. Uh, and other things. Oh well. So anyway. So yeah, not a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just headlines here. Markets are pricing out a Biden win and stimulus package pass. Oh yeah, well the market's going to be in for a rude awakening. Uh, I seriously hate the evil people, the unnamed tribe that I can't name or even hint at. Total control over our entire society. How, like, how is that even possible? But whatever it is, we're going to make sure it never happens again so once we do fix this. I see you approve crypto. IP. Oh my god, that's a lot. I, of course, STL Platform Open Finance, so it's bio. JP Morgan Sale Finance sees commercial light of day. I do want to know what the big banks are doing. Researchers question what trustless actually means for blockchain. Uh, I guess we could read because we don't have a lot of stuff here. Uh, Singapore Dollars Bank is also getting into cryptocurrency, so that's good. Am I here selling how we eat? No. Uh, nope. I, IOTA joins Japanese government on blockchain based maintenance project. Yeah. Well, I mean, Japan has always been pretty friendly towards crypto. I see approved crypto IPO. Oh, yeah. Uh, DeFi devs may save months of work when open Zeppelin's operations platform. What? Yeah. My coin price near 13 has CO news all time highs in three months. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, the issue really is the election. So once, I will be so happy when the stupid election is over, right? I mean, in 2016 it was great because I, we all knew Trump was going to win, but then things weren't as manipulated as they are now with censorship and stuff. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so we have enough. So the first things first. Let's take a quick gander. Yeah, everything here is GDP. Italian picking is really gonna go full COVID because COVID carry me. Wow, oh, she's pretty attractive looking. See, the one nice thing about Trump is he probably just got rid of all the ugly people that also happen to hate America and white people, and they just replaced them with like nice, uh, good-looking people. <laughs> You know, you uh, physiognomy really is a thing you can rely on. MS13, my Trump, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what's this? Oh, Nia Chang, I but destroy both for so other, but Nakoma Takis. She's actually GOP establishment, but everyone's just backing her, so whatever. <clears throat> I mean, I guess she can't all be that bad. I mean, it's New York, so there's not really much. You can't really go that far right wing at all. Uh, Nick Fuentes himself said he's not going to go down vote GOP and explained his reasoning why. I kind of want to do this. I didn't realize what this thing is still. I don't, I don't know why this camera likes to shift all the time. <clears throat> like, yeah, he, he outlined a really good reason. I kind of want to do the same thing too. Not down, uh, not vote for the GOP, just vote for Trump. Problem is, I live in New York. And number two, we do need to remove this lockdown. So it would be best to, I think, vote Republican in my case, just to get rid of the fucking lockdown or right? improve the chances. But there is a possibility of voting Democrat, too, if I want to accelerate the destruction of New York. Right. You know, leave a big sticking turd here before I move to Florida. Uh, and, and then when people are suffering, then they'll cry out to God and then people will become hardcore right wing people. Um, but for the most part, I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll probably, I'll probably just do, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll probably do down vote, Republican vote this time around. So, because we really do need a really stupid lockdown. So I always think back to Batman Begins. It's like, you know, God, they must be destroyed. It's like, no, Chris Bale's like, no, can't do that. It's still good people. Give me a chance. So that, that, that's kind of like what I have to do. So. Even though I want to become like Bane, even though like I'm, I'm too old now to be Joker, I think. Even though I probably would be a good Joker, I, mean, I think Bane would be more my thing style, especially since I would have to hide my activities from the public view. U.S. did not benefit from trade with China, so this was actually last night, but I thought this would be really good for today. 
So let's see. Trump's trade war with China did not achieve the objective in boosting manufacturing in America, according to Wall Street Journal. Manufacturing, this is fake news, by the way. Manufacturing activity in the U.S. is not reversed despite building of tariffs to discourage Chinese imported goods. Well, first of all, we're still getting stuff from China, so. Trade deficit with China was reduced in 2019. However, it's still 84 billion in August. And here's the important kicker. As U.S. importers shifted to imports from Vietnam, Mexico, and other countries. There's a, since the pandemic, China's trade deficit is back to where it was at the start of the Trump administration. So basically what's happening is uh, it's globalism, all right? It's globalism. So the only real benefit is I th uh, where the America is just making more money off of the tariffs. Uh, but as for manufacturing coming back to America, that's never going to happen. Simply because of, again, globalism. You would actually have to pass laws that forbid foreign, foreign stuff from coming in. That, that's practically impossible. So, um, but I mean, they're trying to place the blame on Trump, and that's obviously the fake news portion, right? Because everyone's just going to be bashing China, but they're just moving manufacturing, especially to Vietnam. So it's the same bullshit. And then, what, you're going to blame Vietnam in the future? It's it's all just, pol it's just all like propaganda just to make you hate uh, Trump, but not uh, like, there was never going to be any reshoring. All right, the, the people who control who actually control this government in this world will never let that happen. Because if, you know, white Americans especially get manufacturing jobs, then they can have families and make money and then they'll vote Republican. Or specifically they'll vote Christian. Uh, and, they, and they're never gonna allow that. So we have to make the establishment do that. Well actually we're gonna probably put half of them in jail. Uh, once this is all over for treason, but that's gonna be a while. The goal of restoring factory production in the U.S. is an unfulf is unfulfilled job growth in manufacturing. Manufacturing slowed since July 2018. Manufacturing activity peaked in December 2018. Trump's trade advisors say the tariffs of 370 billion Chinese goods have succeeded in forcing China to agree to phase one trade deal and will end China's unfair practices over time. Industry analysis by the Fed shows that tariffs help boost unemployment by 0.3 percent by protecting domestic blah 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 blah. They were more than offset by the higher cost of Chinese imports due to tariffs cutting manufacturing employment by 1.1% in the U.S. The retaliatory tariff by China in the U.S. exports reduced to domestic factory jobs by 0.7%. Yeah, it's a tip for tap. According to Peter Sinford, to do Chad Bowen, Trump is not the first to use tariffs per unit, but this is the biggest use of tariffs since the Great Depression. Yeah, Ronald Reagan did the same thing to save Harley Davidson, and it obviously worked. And not surprisingly, they turn off the comments for this because they don't want because <clears throat> the F word losers at Yahoo Finance don't want people calling out the fake news on this. Like, this thing's got a lot of truth in it, but it's slanted uh, in a way to make Trump look bad. You know, it's, it's such a bullshit. But, yeah. JP Morgan Coin uh, now recognizes blockchain's profitability and has created a new business dedicated to crypto and blockchain work. A year and a half after it was first announced, JP Morgan Coin. Is now live and in use by major transactional transnational tech firms from around the clock cross border payments. Currently, this real world proof that the technology increases pay and reduces costs, both for mega bank time and the tech. Okay, history of business. New business dubbed Onyx has over a thousand staffers being led by Umar Farouk as CEO. That name sounds familiar. Or maybe it's just the Farouk last name. Tech. Takis Jerkopoulos. Uh, try saying this really fast correctly 10 times in a row. That's a Greek name, probably. Probably It is, probably. JP Morgan's global head of wholesale pencil. We are shifting to a period of commercializing, moving from research to R&D, something that can become real. On the heels of PayPal's recent embrace of Bitcoin, incumbents confidence that blockchain can actually make the money appears to be on the rise. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin heading to a million dollars is going to be really good because this is going to fuel the bubble right because people are because when people are in a reverse panic euphoria right uh, when they're in a euphoria they're going to come their cognitive bias is going to be on overdrive turbo drive so they're going to say paypal billy worth billions is going to is using bitcoin jp morgan coins out there using bitcoin blah, blah, blah. and then it's just going to be a feeding frenzy right 
uh, like a lot of you remember the real estate frenzy before the 2008 real estate crash, right? It's the same exact thing going on here. And that's what we're going to cash in on when Bitcoin hopefully hits a million to $2 million. My prediction video said 500,000. But I have to admit, Bitcoin hits 250K and it's been like two years later, right? While we're still going on, I'm going to have a very difficult time figuring out what the right move is going to be. Because if Bitcoin's at 250K, Litecoin's going to be like, what several hundred dollars maybe a thousand bucks it's not going to be it's not going to be the earth shattering amount that i'm looking for because i'm looking to make a, like several million dollars off of this uh uh next bitcoin uh boom uh that's basically already on its way like they're not even waiting for the election that's that's a very good sign so um you know uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because I don't know how much of it is idiots believing Biden's going to win when clearly that's not the case. Because nobody wants to vote for Biden. It's all like Twitter and voter fraud. There was even a tweet that showed Joe Biden saying we have the, most, we have the best, most robust voter fraud organization in the, in, uh, you know, out there. So it's like, <laughs> it's, oh, God. First, the mega banks have been piling blockchain since 27, involving uh, foreign party banks and corporations. Do you agree that the network now being rebranded as Link can bring significant efficiency savings for the blah, blah, blah. JP Morgan itself accounts across for a wholesale flow. So that are, that's six trillion dollars a day across over a hundred countries. So the foreign currency market payments uh, trade volume is at least six trillion dollars a day, and that's just from JP Morgan. And it's probably not that much more than this, I think. It could be. I just know the Forex trade volume is ridiculous. The bank has also identified blockchain to innovate the existing ideas over processing 100 million paper uh, Fiscal aspects. This is another reason. This is another reason why human beings are get replaced. Because why would you use a banker when you could just use blockchain? So you know, what are you gonna do? Blame Bitcoin for losing your job? You know, version of blockchain with the part of it. Okay, I don't want to read any more of this. I get the point. Uh, all right, so the point is, yeah, everyone's getting in on it. So this is very good for the bull run. The fundamental. This is a very strong and powerful fundamental. See, they're move, They're gonna have cryptocurrency use, um, be used to sh shuffle six trillion dollars a day. All right, six trillion dollars a day. Granted, it's a JP Morgan coin and it's a stable coin, but people are going to know the real difference. It's like crypto, Bitcoin. Oh, but JP Morgan is Bitcoin because again, people just can't process complex, high IQ shit. You people watching are an exception, but I mean, I don't know how many of you are having trouble understanding what I'm talking about. But I'm sure if you listen to it enough, your IQ will go up like 10, 20 points anyway. So even if you don't understand it, you'll event you eventually will. That's how I do with my computer programming. Now I'm a much better programmer now than I was like 10 months ago when I started. So I always thought, because you know, when I first started, I was like, you know, this seems so hard, but I know if I keep at it, I will be much better. And I can't imagine how much better I will be. But it's like, wow, how do I do it? You know, but little at a time, you know, and here I am. Now, uh, you know, first game's gonna be a, a really good. Researchers question what trustless actually means for blockchain. Blockchain eliminates like, but you know, how far is there? Could it be really like to feel a mantra such as don't trust and verify law of code? Um, okay, cigarette so through the uh, The desire to dispense with the need to trust their party across actors is the main set of crypto creators. The user card was invented in the aftermath of 2008. Hmm. Ah, there we go. A paper first followed by a group of really that was through the University of Oxford. Argues against conceptualizing blockchain as a question of trust or its absence. That paper pro proposed on Shabbat as a confidence machine. Uh, okay, the paper rests on carefully parsed the issue between trust and confidence, each of which is a common quality already in its own right. Uh, I guess technically this is true, but I have, but I assume every single research paper from all colleges is fake news terrorism. So, uh, trust of the proves why everyone can choose a bit of a view of confidence. My kind of confidence over the production of the blockchain also jumped back to predict global network access. 
In the course of their argument, however, the authors of the paper calculate this view of the Kahan, which we call in a very further uh, order, is inherently fluid crack, dynamic by fuel hour, or who control on the mind, we sort of total hole, whereas off chain hour is most often operate as a technocracy with a fuel of a dynamo at the front spec. Rather than invoking an alternative ideal scenario where I do. Yeah, I literally just browsed through this and I just said a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, I don't know. I'm already suspecting this is a tribal scam to try to confuse people. Uh, because if you have a fully trustless system, which is what we want, then you have full, yeah, fully transparent and full honest facts because nobody trusts each other. So the only thing that remains is the truth because that's the only thing that would be valid on the blockchain. And truth cannot be manipulated, but at least from a blockchain point of view, which means if you're saying something that uh, is basically censored, and I can't say because I'm going to get banned, that's exactly what we need to solve that, right? The reason why they want to shift to confidence is because you can manipulate someone's confidence, right? That's their specialty. So this thing is definitely fake news, fake research from fucking asshole F-words losers from Oxford. Whether it's intentional or not, I don't really care, but uh, this is bullshit. In fact, I am, uh, well, this is a pretty nice thumbnail, but I'm going to actually X that out because, you know, f fuck them. Screw them up, right? The university and colleges were responsible for all this lockdown shit and every, all the evil that's happening because of it. So, you know, they are the enemy, you know. Uh, but, you know, well, nice try, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I think we'll use this as a thumbnail. Uh, I mean, this is an all right picture, and it's got a picture of Trump, too. But uh, we'll probably use this. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. And I'm kind of surprised Forsen is not live he's definitely live by now huh. all right anyway i'm done for the week so <clears throat> so thankfully uh youtube's been giving me my uh views for this uh for some reason i think it might be a combination of this like more people are coming in from crux i assume uh and number two where are we Number two, cryptocurrency is going back uh, on the rise. So I imagine there are more people searching for it, which makes sense because this thing is, you know, look at the search interest. So I imagine for this week, it's going to be even higher, or as it should be, right? Definitely when Bitcoin hits 20K, this thing should be, um, but this, like if Bitcoin goes back to 20,000, but the search interest is only half of what it was at the peak, that's an extremely good sign. That basically means... That sky's the limit, and then we're just gonna make hopefully millions, several million dollars in my case. I go buy my apartment buildings in Tampa, Florida. All right, and then uh, we'll go from there. And then by then, you know, my game will my game will already be out, and I'll be dealing with you know all the fallout that comes with that, if there is any. Uh, hoopla, I should say, because it's not gonna be that bad. I mean, the only thing I'm, I mean, I already have like tweets and ideas ready to go when fake news terrorists go after me <clears throat> um and i'm just going to do what the chinese embassy is doing it's just point out like how every how every how well the assholes that don't like us are trying to start world war three with china and also they hate white people so uh, if i keep doing that then they'll just stop attacking me even though they may not like uh may not like me because what's going to happen is everyone's going to actually see that and go hey this is actually true like what the fuck are you doing you know and then <laughs> you know i win all right so anyway i will see you all in next week's video which will be on a monday instead of tuesday because next tuesday is election day and i need to go vote too so uh you know i, I need my i need i need no distractions on that day so anyway, and in the meantime, not much is going to happen until after the election is over, quote unquote over, because obviously they're going to not declare a winner, and then they're going to find like hundreds of millions of votes for Joe Biden, right? So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, it's pretty uneventful. I mean, I don't even care about the Skilris nominee thing. Like, it's not going to do anything. They're not going to... 
The Supreme Court is like basically that our entire court system. I think is just worthless. It's just there to like just peak, uh, oppress the people, right? You know, so yeah, like I'm still bitter about the trademark thing, but things will change. They'll change for the better, you know. Especially when, especially now that I'm entering the game, uh, so. Anyway, well, so unless, of course, nobody plays my game and nobody cares, but I suspect that's not going to happen. I think, it, I, think the, I think it's just more like how successful can I make it? So success is already guaranteed. It's just how big can I make it? I might pour enough money into my Facebook advertising, which is, I think, going to be like five bucks a day to start. Uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be pretty good. <clears throat> All right, I'm losing my voice. See you next week. Judson Chen, JMC coin, 100 coin, speed coin. And here is, let's move this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, it, this, these social icons are a problem. All right, this is good.